Ferdig faced many challenges as a guerrilla leader. One of them was his rank. He was only a lieutenant colonel, and many of his Filipino subordinates were generals or colonels. To gain their respect and cooperation, he promoted himself to major general. Another challenge was money. Ferdig needed funds to pay his soldiers, buy supplies and support the civilian government. He decided to print his own money, called guerrilla pesos, backed by his promise to redeem them after the war. A third challenge was communication. Ferdig needed to contact the U.S. forces in the Pacific to request for supplies and coordinate his operations. He managed to build a radio transmitter from scrap parts and send coded messages to Australia. A fourth challenge was unity. Ferdig had to deal with the diverse and sometimes conflicting interests of his guerrilla force. He had to balance the demands of the Moros, the Christians, the Americans, and the Chinese. He had to mediate disputes, prevent defections, and punish traitors.